Okay, let's see uh, composition library, the next library we have. And uh, we can open it by pressing F6. Now, this library is by default empty. And uh, we have here categories. Let's uh, add a new category to this list by specifying my, uh, the name and pressing the create button. Let's make two of those just to see how it works. Now, in order to uh, actually add composition to this list, we need to make one. And uh, let's create composition and place some items in it. Let's place several walls, just as an example. Okay, why shouldn't we just copy past those and take them like this? We actually don't need that much. Copy those well. Now this will work. Is our example. It's good enough. Now let's make sure that all buildings in the composition. And um, now we have to save this composition to our library. And we do this by pressing Control F with composition being selected. Now, first of all, let's select category to which uh, this composition will be saved. And now let's specify the name for this composition. And press the save button. Now, this composition is saved. And uh, we can see it in our category. Just let's try and make uh, one more composition that we will save in another category. Um, let's say here. And maybe we use walls like this. Maybe like this. This one. Okay, it's good enough. Now every object is in uh, is in this composition. So let's now save it by pressing Control F. Like the uh, the second category. And let's make name like rather generic name again. And as you can see, in uh, the second category, we have composition number two. We can click it in order to see the preview of it. And as you can see, there are two lists. And uh, uh, when, I, when we select certain category from uh, this combo box, uh, its content will be shown in this list below. Currently we have two categories and uh, one item in each of those. Now let's select first category here and second category this in here. Now as you can see those are two, two different compositions. Now we can actually drag and drop compositions from one category to another. 
as you can see now there's no items in first category and two items in second category that's pretty much uh, the only reason why there are two lists here just to be able to drag and drop items from one category to another it's a bit simpler this way so now we have uh, saved two, categor uh, two categories and uh, two compositions in there we can also change the name of composition by pressing F6 let's select the composition with that we would like to rename and uh, in this edit box let's write the correct name and press the rename button here we go it's renamed now okay let's try and uh, make some changes to composition to see how it works first of all let's select the composition and place an object here uh, let it be this coil uh, now once uh, something changed to the composition like uh, one object added uh, all these changes will be automatically saved to your library as you can see the composition name is cm underscore composition underscore 2 and once we change this composition the appropriate name appropriate composition with th this name will be changed as well in library now let's uh, let's try to actually build this composition elsewhere and uh, maybe imagine that this is the like another mission we would like to use this composition in and in order to build compositions uh, we have to go to the build mode and we have to hold shift and uh, right mouse button select the compositions build mode and release buttons now uh, we immediately have uh, this uh, composition under our cursor now uh, in order to switch between categories we should hold shift and control and use your, our mouse wheel in order to switch between categories as you can see we have my category and my category underscore two and in actually in my category underscore two there are two elements or two compositions and we can switch between them by holding control and uh, using mouse wheel so as you can see we have two compositions with the walls now let's actually try and place it somewhere by pressing left mouse button Now, as you can see, two identical compositions, but they are not actually that identical. In fact, as you can see, the name of this composition is cm underscore composition underscore two, but the name of this one is rather different. It's r and d underscore k o seven r a r six. Just a random name now why it is random uh, basically when you changing something to the composition with a certain name those changes will save automatically to library here but this is not what you probably want to be every time for example this composition that you build in previous mission and uh, you really like it how it uh, stands you that's why you saved it to the library and you don't want to actually make changes to the composition itself inside library correctly but you actually want to use it and in this specific mission you find that this coil uh, it shouldn't be there just don't want this coil to be there and still you don't want to change the composition itself because probably in the next mission this coil will, will fit very nice and that's why exactly why uh, it have a random name let me show you when you change something to a composition with different name those changes will not be saved uh, I just deleted the coil 
Now, those changes are not saved to the library, to this composition with this name. Now, you would ask, where is this composition then saved? It is saved uh, in special category. It calls temporary category. Now, in the composition library, you can actually Un uh, unclick this button and you will have access to the temporary uh, category. In this category we will we'll have uh, this composition R&D K07RR6. So you are now able to actually change things to this composition without changing the original one and uh, let's try and place uh, certain stuff in here maybe some objects like those pipes and maybe some pellets here and there like this and those changes will be automatically saved to this composition in temporary uh, temporary category you may ask, what if we would have two compositions with the same name in the scene? Well, it is also possible, and compositions like this will be called cloned compositions. Let's try and make one. First of all, let's select the build mode and select the composition. Now, under the cursor, we have the same composition as we have in the scene right now. And now, instead of just clicking left mouse button, uh, let's try to hold shift and click left mouse button. Now, as you see, there is a line between those two compositions. And this line, purple line, will show us that uh, there are cloned compositions in scene. As you can see, if I select them, they have same name. Now, in order to keep consistency in library, uh, you remember the rule that uh, whatever changes made to the composition, the, uh, these changes should be saved to the library immediately. And uh, let's try and see how it works, actually. Let's change the position of those pipes. As you can see, those changes are reflected immediately on the second composition as well. Or maybe let's change the place of this wall. So as you can see, whatever we change, the library changes, as well as all copies of this composition in the scene. 